In this video, we're going to complete our sign up flow and we're going to build up a sign up form UI and use Firebase to sign up a new user. Hey everyone, it's Sweep Khan and I'm a front end engineer. Uh, in our previous video, we completed our login fun form functionality. And in this video, we, let's continue with that and add our sign up form and make it functional. We'll also add a few finishing touches such as route cards. So let's get started. First, we'll build up our sign up form. Let's go to our sign up form component here. And we're going to add a new form group, which we'll call sign up form. This will have the name, default value of empty, and a validator required. Then we'll have the email with two validators. One would be validators, the other would be validators required. Then we'll have password, which will be in country and empty, and it would have just the validators dot required. Now, of course, it's customary in this in these types of um, forms to have a confirm password as well. So we are going to add a confirm password field, and we're going to confirm control for this as well, and we're going to give validators what required. Now we have added our initial validations, but of course we need to add a validation where the password and the confirm password field are also compared. So we're going to add a new validator here. This would be a sync validator, but to add it we'll first create a new function here. Now this will be in the form of export function this. Passwords match validator is going to return a validator function. Now a validator function has uh, an input of the control and it has a return of a validation error or null if there is no error. And we're going to specify this validator here, passwords match validator, okay? Now, this is called a cross field validator because we are going to use two fields and we are going to uh, form a validation status based on it. So here we are going to quickly get our first field, which would be password. And this would be, now this control is actually our form group. So we are going to get our password field here and we're going to get the value. Similarly, we are going to get the confirm password and we're going to get password value. Then all we have to do is to check whether um, password has a value and the confirm password has a value. And also if both of them are not equal, now this would mean that we have an error. Now in an error case, we will return back a key which we will call as passwords don't match and we'll give out true here, okay? Now um, in else or rather we don't need to put in else, we can just return null here, okay? Now null would mean that there's no error and passwords don't match true would mean that the passwords don't match, so that's an error. Okay, great. Uh, so now we have our validation ready here. Now the next thing that we need to do is to obviously we need to add our accessors here. So we're going to add an accessor for get name. We're going to do similar for password, uh, for email and for uh, the password as well. Obviously, we're going to just copy it in here and we're going for the password we're going for confirm password. Great. Now let's get to our form now, our form UI. And now this will be very similar to our login form. So we are going to just copy that in here. We're just going to select and copy it here. Okay, close this. So now obviously we'll uh, change a few things here. So we are going to write here, sign up a new user. Okay, okay. And here would be, uh, we will give the sign up form. And now the first uh, um, uh, control here we have is the email address. But let's just copy it. And the first one in our case would be the name here. So we're going to change the placeholder uh, name, control name. And we only really need the required one for name. So we're going to remove this. Uh, we're going to give this name and the name is required. Similar Similarly for email, we have it exactly the same. For password, we have it exactly the same. We'll have a something similar for confirm password. So we're going to write here confirm password and form control name also be confirm password. Okay, and confirm password is required. Now for our uh, last cross validation, uh, since it is it represents or it uh, corresponds to the whole sign up form here therefore we will have to keep it outside of uh, all of our controls so we can't keep it inside of a mat form field so to to do that we'll add a mat error component outside of it and we're going to check for sign up form dot errors as before and we're going to check here our error which is passwords don't match okay so if we have this here we should just tell the user that okay the passwords should match great and this login would be sign up 
and we don't need this one. Okay, so now let's test the form out a bit to see if the validations work. Okay, so the form looks good. Now let's, if you test it out, the name is required, the email address is required, and if we test out an email address, it should say that, okay, the, em the email address needs a correct format. That's fine. Now for the password, if for example, we add a password here, and we add something different here, we'll see that, okay, it gives us password should match. And if I make it empty, it says that, okay, okay, it doesn't say anything. Okay, that means there's a problem here. So we need to write this confirm password errors okay this should work now so if you're going to write this okay this is getting our correct validations and if we we should get password should match and if we write the same password we don't get the error and great so but we still have an error here okay so this all works now before adding the submit code in our handler here we need to add uh, our sign up function in our authentication service so let's go to our authentication service here and we'll add a new function which we will call as sign up uh, and here we are going to take in our name, email, password, and we're going to return uh, a from observable as we did before. But here, instead of sign in, we are going to use create user with email address with email and password. Okay. It's going to take in our auth and it's going to um, take in our email and password okay uh, now now since we also want to add a name to our user here we need to do one more thing and we need to uh, update the profile for this user uh, which allows us to update some specific properties such as a display name the profile uh, picture URL etc so we're going to uh, pipe into our observable here we're going to add a switch map operator which will allow us to do something after this. And here we are, we are going to have our user credentials and we're going to have our user inside of it. And then we can just use a function which is update profile, okay? Now update profile takes in the user as the first argument that we got from our previous uh, sign up, And then we're going to give the object here, which takes in the display name. And as you can see the display name and the profile URL as well, but we don't need the profile URL. So we're just going to set the display name here okay so this should do the trick now note the user profile being updated here only has a few properties such as a display name and the profile picture a more proper way to store more user details in case you want it would be to use a firebase firestore database to create a user's collection with that data and then store all of that stuff in there okay here we're just going for a simple setup so great, now with this done, let's get back to our sign up form here and let's go come back to our submit handler here. Uh, first, obviously we will check that whether our sign up form is valid or not. If it's invalid, we are not going to proceed with it. So we're just going to return, okay? Uh, then we're going to destructure our data. We're going to specify here name, mail and password. Okay, and next obviously we need to include our services first so we are going to into the auth service okay uh, since we are here we also uh, should include our toast service hot toast service okay and we also like to include our router because we need to route towards something after we sign up let's call our auth service now with our needed function and we're going to pass in our mail and password and we're going to add a pipe to it so that we can add our notifications we will use the observe as before and for the success case here we are going to write great congrats you are all signed up and for loading we are going to write signing in and for error we are going to specify in this case we are going to specify a handler uh, so that we can so that we can specify what error we are getting we are going to get the error message here or rather we can destructure this further in our error here great now let's subscribe to it and want our user to be routed to the home page when we sign in because uh, that means that we will already be logged in so we are going to go to our home page here okay great so time to test the sign up now we're going to save this and we'll add for example my own name and we're going to use the same email address that we did previously to add a password to it let's sign up okay so we get an error which is that an email is already in use and that is understandable because we are using the same uh, user that we added previously manually on the console so let's go to our firebase console this and let's go in authentication and we have this user so we are going to delete this user now because we want to do this through our app now okay it's deleted now let's get back to our app let's test this out again great so we can sign in now so now since we have our display name now we'd like to make some changes to our lockout button here 
here we would like to show the logged in user's name here instead of the logout button and keep the logout button instead inside of a material menu which uh, pops up when you click on this so let's go back to our uh, toolbar we have it in our app component here and we are going to just make some small changes here so we're going to change this icon account underscore circle okay uh, we're going to remove this click handler because we don't it to do uh, it like this and in logout since we already have our user included here in your ngf we are going to specify user dot display name here okay and also to show the user that okay you can actually uh, produce a drop down by clicking on it uh, we are going to put here expand underscore that the user knows what to expect okay so yes this looks uh, better already but obviously when we click on it we need to have a material menu here so to for have uh, for having a material menu we are going to go in our app dot module and include the material menu here put mat menu module here okay this should work uh, and when we go in our app dot component we are going to define a mat menu here we'll name it as user menu and we'll export it as a mat menu inside of it we'll add a button uh, we'll give a directive of mat menu item and we're going to give it a click handler or logout this would say logout great uh, and lastly, what just we want to do is to give a mat menu trigger for for this menu, which is the user menu. So let's test this out. So as we can see now, when we click on it, we get the logout here. And when we do logout, it logs out. And when we log in again, for example, with our same user, we are going to get this nice uh, name and the indicator that okay, we are logged in. Also, let's do one more thing and let's change the home page to instead uh, of the email, we would like to show here the display name because this looks really weird okay so let's change this as well great this is a much better message now now lastly in any authentication flow we need to restrict access to our logged in routes so now in our current version if for example we are not logged in let's log out here and when we are not logged in and we go in our home you will see that it allows us to go to our home route even though it doesn't show anything now this is wrong now what we want here is to redirect users to the login page if they're not logged in as is the usual norm now to do all this we need to add root cards to our roots now angular fire provides us with some pre-built uh, auth card which we can use now along with it it also provides us with some multiple pipes that we can use to add different functionality so if we go for example to our app routing page and we are going to uh, import our from angular fire angular fire auth guard and here we are going to import three things so one would be the function called an activate which we are going to use it's a utility function and then we are going to uh, import a function which defines a pipe so one would be redirect unauthorized to and the other would be redirect logged into then we are going to define the pipe below here so we are going to write here constant redirect to login now this would be a function and we are going to use redirect unauthorized and here we are going to give our login okay this is just telling um, this to generate a pipe um, and route our unlogged in users to the login page okay uh, now we want this to be added to our home page so we are going to what we are going to do here then is to use the spread operator and the can activate function along with it and then pass in our redirect so redirect to login pipe here that we had defined okay now if we look in our hover here we are going to see that it returns a can activate and it returns some data now this is a long form of this um, uh, syntax so if you want to use this you can use this as well uh, similarly uh, when we are logged in already it makes little sense to allow the user to log in or sign up again so the user should log out if they want to go to any of these routes okay so to do that we are going to add another pipe here which would be called redirect and this would be redirect logged in and here we are going to specify okay now this will uh, go in both login component sorry wait and in the sign up component okay great now let's test this out right now okay so we are logged out right now and now if you try to go to our home page it will get us back to login and so this works and when we go to our when we log in for example with our user and uh, we try to go to our login page is going to redirect us to our home similar for sign up so now we have a fully functional sign up flow in angular with firebase authentication now our users can sign up for a new user log into an existing user and also control access to different routes based on the login status 
Of course, we can add a lot more to it to make it more feature rich. But for now, I'm signing off. I hope you liked this series of videos. If you did, be sure to subscribe for more such upcoming videos and series. Thanks for watching.